Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up inbound and outbound rules on Windows Firewall. So this is pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to just use some example programs here just to give you guys an idea of what you would do depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So first thing is first, we're going to head over to the Start menu and open up Windows Firewall and you want to open it up with advanced security so underneath apps it's going to say windows firewall with advanced security you want to open that up okay so now that we are in here what we do now depends entirely on what you're trying to do so either we're going to go underneath inbound rules to create rules for programs and network traffic that is incoming to our computer or we're going to block outbound connections that are going to be coming from programs on our computer they're going to be trying to connect back to their host servers so it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish here but let's just say we're going to be going working with inbound rules today and you can see there's actually a couple examples here we could even go through before we really even create our own so a perfect example would be our web browser so for inbound rules we can see that the Mozilla Firefox application in program files we see that for the inbound so their network trying to connect into ours. We can see that the connection has been established, it's allowed. We can see where it is connecting to on our computer, firefox.exe. And that's very important because that's going to be what we're going to be working with today. That's kind of the idea of behind creating inbound and outbound rules that at least we're going to go over. We can see what kind of protocol it's using, so it's no surprise it's using TCP, quite a few of them we can see that any user can be authorized to access it and any computer on here as well so mostly what we're going to be working with is the first couple sections I believe you can actually move them around but we're going to be pretty much content with the first few columns so if we're looking to create a new rule, what we do is so what we would do is click on new rule right underneath actions underneath inbound rules. That's assuming that we're going to create a new inbound rule. So now depending on what we're trying to do, most people like most people in this video are going to be selecting program which is the default rule which will create a rule that for connections from a program. You can also create a connection rule for a port and you can also create a custom rule. Most people are going to be selecting this first option here so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to click on next. Now we have to select the program path that kind of goes off of what we saw with Firefox and you can see the program path the example actually matches pretty closely with what Firefox actually was. So we're going to click on browse here. So we might actually have to backtrack here so I'm going to go underneath Windows at the top. Go back to the local disk go into program files so you probably will find your program will be listed somewhere in here let's say we're going to be working with um, let's say the Mozilla maintenance service so I'm going to open that up should be something that has application under file type that's probably what we're going to be going to be selecting and creating our rule around so I'm going to select maintenance servers which probably already has an existing rule in here but let's just say we haven't created one yet so we're going to click on open once you've selected that program, we're going to click on next. Now we're going to be have so now we're going to have a choice: are we going to allow the connection, or are we going to try and block it? So let's say we're going to try and block this inbound connection. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to click on next. And then you can select when does this rule apply. Most people on this video will have all three of these checked. I would personally, unless you have some kind of preference to deselecting it for like a private network. I mean, you're more than welcome to, but you usually want to keep them all checked. It just depends on what your network settings are at the time. So we're going to click on Next. Now you can name this rule. I'm just going to call it Mozilla New Rule. You can also add a description if you chose to do so. And then you can click on Finish. So pretty simple. So if we go down, should be in here. There we go. There's a little line going through the circle. Mozilla new rule. We can see our rule has been created. 
If you ever wanted to modify any rules that were already in here, you can always just double click on the rule and you can change different settings through here. I'd be very skeptical and I would personally recommend you guys do not really play around with other ones. But this is just a very basic low level introduction to creating a new rule within the Windows Firewall. So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.